I'm going to talk about some 3D printable mods that I've designed for Leatherman tools. Most of them are pretty simple and easy to do, but one of them requires a little bit more effort. I have mods for the Free T2, Signal, Style PS, Treads, and the Tread Temple. Let's first look at the mods for the Signal. The Signal is one of the coolest looking Leathermans, has some nice splashes of color. Design a thumb stud that could be press fit into the blade. One of the cool things about the signal is this removable ferro rod and whistle. I designed this replacement part. It still has the whistle and you can also cut off some ferro rod and glue it in. If you don't need the fire starter and whistle, you can 3D print this part and store an extra Leatherman bit. So now you have an extra Leatherman bit and a nice flash of color. The signal has a hammer built into the end and that was making the style PS jealous so I printed it its own hammer. The hammer piece slides into the end and now it's ready for some light duty tapping. Maybe just enough to tap a carburetor loose. Now let's talk about a couple add-on tools specific to the Leatherman tread. The back of the tread tempo has a removable link tool so I designed some replacements for that. The plastic's probably not strong enough to turn a screw but you could possibly use it to make a negative mold for casting. Some of the handy things about the Victorinox Classics are the included toothpick and tweezers, so I added that functionality to the back of the Tread Tempo. This piece stores tweezers and a toothpick. And here it is installed on the back of the Tread Tempo. Even though it sticks out a little bit, it's still pretty comfortable to wear. This next part fits the Tread Tempo and the regular size tread. It's a full size link that carries a mini toothpick. I've also designed full size links. If you lose a link or want to expand the size of the bracelet, these work for the Tread Tempo, the regular Tread, and the Tread LT. This is a link for the Tread Tempo and the regular Tread that has a whistle built in. This last mod requires you to disassemble your Free T2, but if you do, you can add a splash of color. This is the original middle part for the Free T2. I took it apart modeled it and 3D printed it. You have to keep track of what you're doing during the disassembly and reassembly part, but it's a cool way to add a splash of color. If you're interested in any of these modifications, the files are available for free on my Thingiverse page. I'll include a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed checking out my Leatherman tool modifications. Thanks for watching and have a great day.